Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. When I am filming this, it is September, but you should be watching it in December. And in that spirit, I have got a little red Lisa Eldridge velvet ribbon lip on. I have got a Christmas jumper on, and not that you can see or smell it, but I do have Jo Malone, or Jo Loves rather, log fires burning in the background because today I am filming the intro to my 12 Pans of Christmas 2023 project pan. I love doing this project pan every year. Three months is a good amount of time to use up and concentrate on the sort of items that you wouldn't put in a year long project pan, but that you do need that little bit of time with, you do need that extra effort, that extra bit of concentration. And hopefully it means it will be a couple of things that I will finish and you know not be dragging forward into next year with me so i really like this project pan just for that kind of clean up at the end of the year let's get into seeing what i am doing this year for my 12 pans of christmas first item that i'm putting into my 12 pans of christmas is actually three items because obviously we have to start bending the rules straight away but this is a set of three perfumes i am measuring them all individually they are all from guerlain this is eau de cashmere this is the one that i have used the most of the set already eau de lis which i haven't used very much of at all eau de lingerie which i really haven't used very much of at all so this was a little gift with purchase i can get weirdly sort of protective of gifts with purchases it's not something money can buy in that sense so i can sometimes get weirdly protective over gifts because i know i can't replace them if i use them up but these are three skin scents they don't excite me as much as like i love a big amber based room rocker of a perfume so like chanel le Lyon or um Guerlain Chalimar or Queer Beluga from Guerlain again and um, those are all my sort of favourite types of fragrances uh, so I don't very often gravitate towards the skin scents which is also probably partly why these have kicked around in my collection for as long as they have done but it is time to get them out get the use of them I am still running my year-long project pan at this point and I do have a perfume in that but I am hopeful that I'll be able to finish that one and finish these and hopefully still get to use some of those room rocker scents in the run up to Christmas without totally having to put them in the back burner just to finish these. Because these are skin scents I feel like they'll also layer and mix quite nicely with other smells if I really need to be you know finding ways to mix them in to get the extra use if I'm struggling to just finish them as they are. So the aim with these is to finish all three of them. something that I wouldn't use unless I put it in a project pan and concentrate on it and it is one of Guerlain's solid massage bars. So obviously I'm not really using this to massage myself with as such, I'm just using it as like a body moisturiser, like a solid body moisturiser. Now I don't dislike this enough to declutter it and I have another one I think, I have one more of this scent left in my collection after this but I much prefer something that's just scoop out of a tub or spray on or pump out or whatever than a solid. So I feel like I never reach for this unless it's in a project basically. So our opening weight on this Lush Massage Bar is 49 grams and I am hoping to completely use this up before the end of the year. So if it's what 49 grams, say 50 grams for simplicity's sake, three months so say sort of 17 grams a month roughly is what I want to try and use up and hopefully we will say goodbye to this and it will be out of my collection by the end of the year. Another item that I am weighing and hoping to use up is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So this is a moisturiser. As you can see this is a huge tub of moisturiser. So this is 125 mils so if you think about your average moisturizer is 30 mils or 50 mils this is like two and a bit big 
moisturizers. The starting weight on this is 91 grams. I have had this for quite a long time. Kiehl's actually, you can see in the label here, Kiehl's have this thing about adventure testing. Um, so they tested this on somebody's skin in Greenland, ascending peaks in Greenland. So I decided to kind of dig this out and use it when I was on my recent at the moment of filming but will see me a lifetime ago come December cruise to Alaska. I dug it out, I used it, it's not breaking me out and my skin liked it so I was a little bit nervous because it was sold in my collection I thought this is probably going to break me out now but we used it, my skin seems to be fine but it is very old in my collection so having tested it and used it in the cruise to know adverse effects I just want to actually try and get this used up. There's still a fair whack left but I feel like basically if I use the Lush Bar from sort of like my waist down and use this from sort of face to waist, you know, across my chest etc as well, that I will be able to use this up. Something that I really want to get used up and get out of my collection is this primer. So again, super old in my collection, I don't even want to think about when I bought this. I don't feel comfortable putting this on my face anymore but I did put this in my 12 pans of Christmas I think not last year but the year before and had said like for Christmas events and things do it on my arms or my legs and that is how I'm hoping to finish up what is left of it this year. So there are 16 grams of product in this at the start of the project. I've actually got a friend who's getting married uh, in a few weeks so I am hoping that I will actually possibly have this cut open by update number one and hopefully finished by update number two so yeah I would really like to have this out of my collection even if it does take me right up to Christmas Eve to the finale to get it used I just want this out of my collection I've had it for so long I don't use it in my face but I very I very rarely am at events where you know I would go to the effort of putting something in my legs so I don't think to reach for it which is why I am putting it in the project and trying to like keep it in my brain, like get this used up. If you've got an opportunity, if you're going out somewhere, slap this on your legs or your arms or even maybe like, although it might break me out here. Skin here is quite sensitive, so legs and arms. Try and get it used up and get it out of my collection. That will be the best Christmas present to myself ever if I can finally get rid of this because I've had this for far too long. Another thing that I have had for far too long is this Origins Maximizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. It's essentially a facial spray and it kind of came out before facial sprays sort of exploded. So although it's theoretically designed to use with masks, you could just use it as a facial spray and that is probably how I am going to use it. Now, I don't think, so this is where we are right up here. I don't think I'm going to finish this within the project but I feel like I absolutely never ever ever reach for this so I am hoping by putting it in the project that I will just remember it's there and get some use out of it. It's a really, I don't know if you'll be able to see if I do this, it doesn't, doesn't actually look it there to be honest. It's quite a, you know when something's like the opposite of a fine mist that I feel like the opposite fine would be thick and thick is not the but it's quite um you know it comes flying at you so it's a very I really am completely blanking on the appropriate word um but yeah it's it's not a very pleasant mist to point at your face I feel like even when I hold this at arm's length I sort of still get like slapped in the face with product so yeah it's not one that I particularly enjoy using. I also don't dislike it enough to just declutter it, I don't think. Maybe actually by putting it in the project and using it regularly, I'll be like, this is not worth like whatever benefit I'm getting from it because I do have other face sprays, etc. So maybe I will end up decluttering it, who knows? But if I put it in the project, I feel like it will just familiarise me with it a little bit more and just a little bit of progress would be good so I don't expect to finish it but I would like to get some use out of it and see what I can do in three months. Something I do expect to finish is my hand cream. This was in last year's 12 pans of Christmas. Already had like a good three months of using it 
because it is literally a Christmas hand cream. I got it in my Christmas stocking two years ago, I think now. Um, I have just put it away basically all year and thought I will bring it back out at this time of year. Um, so there are 33 grams of product in here and yeah, I feel like I should be able to finish that this year without any real issues. So hoping to finish this one within the project. <laughs> Also hoping to finish this which is a little sort of deluxe sample size of the Rare Beauty primer. The Always An Optimist Illuminating Primer. I did have my Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel primer in my main project pan, it is still in there. But because I have removed the top with pliers to get into the remaining product, I now can't travel with it if I'm putting my makeup on at work or if I'm on I've got a couple of trips coming up in the run up to Christmas so if I was you know literally traveling or whatever I wouldn't be able to take that so I thought that was a nice opportunity to try and knock another primer out one that I can travel about with now when I first took the cutaway I had marked it up here it was brand new I hadn't used it at all and then I actually used it the other day and realized it's going to go up from the bottom here it's one of those ones rather than one that's going to go down from the top so I had to put an extra mark on but it was brand new right down at the bottom when we started so uh, yeah, that's where we're starting from and hopefully I will finish this within the project and still also finish the Chanel one. That is the idea, is that I will get two primers out in the last three months of the year. Following on from primer, I have got a foundation. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. So I have it in the shade Blanc, which is obviously the, the Super Pale People shade. Now, I got this way back when it first came out and my kind of memory of it when it first came out is that a lot of people reviewed it and said it goes down really quickly for something that is as expensive as it is. And I think because of that, I've been kind of rationing it. Like that's always been in the back of my mind. Um, but we're now at a point where it's really old in my collection. I'm not aiming to try and finish this. I've still, again, in my main project pan, I've got a foundation in there and I definitely want to finish that one first. This, I just want to make a little bit of progress on because it was really expensive and as you say, I've been like rationing it, which is just silly because now I'm a bit like, oh gosh, that's gonna go off at some point. I have used it just to test it, make sure it's still okay, which it is, but I definitely, because it is an expensive one, want to try and get my use out of it before it does turn, which it will do at some point. So I'm putting it into the project, not expecting to finish it. I just want to make a little bit of progress and you know, see what that progress realistically could be. My opening marks for that is this length here. So we will just see where it ends up. The other item that I have marked here at the top is this eyebrow pencil. It's the shade Lingering, it's the MAC Eyebrow Styler. I was using the same one but in the shade Penny which is better for me actually. But I have finished it up and I probably will repurchase Penny just to have the right shade for if you know I was getting an event where I was going to be photographed or like for going for my friend's wedding or whatever that I mentioned. I'll probably buy myself a new one so that I've got the right shade. But this is what I've got in my brows right now and it's not perfect, Penny's definitely better, but I don't think this is bad enough to declutter. Like I feel like it's fine, it's just not perfect. So this is how much product is left in it. So I would like to try and just finish that by the end of the year. I don't fill my brows in every day. I do wear glasses full time basically. So like right now I've got contact lenses in, but I tend to wear my contact lenses at the weekend or if I'm going out. My eyes are very sensitive, they kind of dry up. They don't really like having the contact lenses in for many days in a row. So quite often I'm wearing glasses and if I'm wearing my glasses, I don't tend to fill my eyebrows in because they're kind of hidden with the glasses anyway. We'll see what I manage here, but I would like to finish this and yeah, maybe I'll just need to start filling my eyebrows in on days when I'm wearing glasses, which feels a little bit like a waste, but I do want to finish this and I also want to repurchase Penny, but not to then ignore everything else that I've got just to use the new one because it's better. Like, I will keep that one for special occasions and try and get 
some of the other ones that I've got that are not terrible and not awful but just aren't as good used up rather than decluttering them. Like I feel like that feels really wasteful so I'd like to get the use out of it and to ideally finish it within the project. If you watched my main year-long project pan last year, you will be familiar with this item. It is the Shantikai Pearl Luminizer Highlighter. This is what that looks like. So I had this in my 2022 project pan and it started off, it had an absolutely gorgeous like embossing on it and everything. So I did make really good progress and I feel like you can kind of see where the waffle pan will be on this but I never quite hit pan even though I used it for a solid year so although I think you can kind of see it peeking through like if I bring that up I feel like you can see it here can't you like it can't be that far off but I never actually got it in the project so I'm putting it into this project and I'm hoping because I was working on it for a full year and because you can kind of see it I'm really hoping that this three months will be enough to hit pan in this. I'm obviously not expecting to finish it. Like if you are into project panning, you will know fine well yourself. Once you hit pan, there's still so much product left. So it's not that I'm expecting to finish it or anything ridiculous like that, but I would really like to actually see proper pan in this by the end of the project. So I'm putting this one in. Fingers crossed we manage it. The last two products that I've got are skincare products. The first of those is this cleanser. So this is a little travel size of the Omra Vita cleanser. It's a 30 ml. I have weighed this, it weighs in at the moment at 41 grams. I would like to try and finish this within the project. So if it's 41 grams, basically if I could use 15 grams the first two months, then I would very easily finish the remainder in the last month. So 15 grams a month basically is what we're going for here. And yeah, I, th I think that should be perfectly doable. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the last item is actually a Medicaid retinol. So I can get a bit weary with retinols. They're not something that I use very often, but I feel like going into these months where we start losing sunlight and whatever, it's, it's ultimately the best time to be using retinol because I feel like every time I use it I'm just thinking about like how it leaves your skin more like kind of weakened for sun exposure so I feel like yeah using it this time of year when there's not as many sunlit hours is probably the best kind of time to be using it so this is completely brand new so I've marked it right up at the top there that is what is in this bottle it's a five mil but obviously as somebody who isn't using retinol every night or anything like that it's not something and this is uh, 3 TR plus intense supercharged 0.3% vitamin A serum so I feel like this would be a little bit much for my skin if I started to go from zero to using it every night so I'm going to aim to use this I think twice a week and hopefully uh, over the three months that will be enough to finish five mils. I feel like five mils really doesn't sound very much and sometimes it's totally not and then sometimes in certain formulas 5ml just goes on and on and on and on so we shall see but I would theoretically like to finish this within the project if that's realistic. We'll find out when we start using it. <laughs> so anyway those are my 12 things or 14 if you count the trio as three things that I would like to try and finish up or hit goals on before the end of the year. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you will enjoy following along on this project pan with me. If you haven't hit subscribe then please do. If you like project pan content I will link up my 2022 12 pans of Christmas playlist on the end card just now so that you can go back and watch that from last year. Then we'll see how it compares with this year. So thank you very much for watching this one and I will see you in my next one. Bye.